Hi and welcome back to this tutorial on how to write a violin sonata. So we're in the first movement, we're in the exposition, um, we're about to go through into the modulation um, and I, um, I was actually going to go straight into the modulation here but then I thought it might be interesting for you to, um, to hear the, um, the violin and the piano playing in unison um, um, because we've we've not had that so far um, we've had them sort of going in octaves and in contrary motion we've had um, a bit of um, you know play between the violin and the piano before but nothing in unison so um, I was just going to maybe write a little passage um, in unison so that you can hear how it sounds. It's got a very distinctive quality. Um, so if I just write the bass line, so I'm just thinking And then we just finish it up with 2B. <clears throat> uh, let's just have two parts in this. Uh, oops. Okay. So we've got a 1C there, and then a dominant 7th. Um, let's just get rid of these extra rests. Okay, um, so have a go, if you would, just writing a little melody on this harmonic bass here, um, and pause it there, have a go, and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so I was thinking of this, having a lead in, so we're obviously in B flat there, second inversion, and then here we're on to B, two, that's not 2B, sorry, 2-7 with a B natural, or well, originally B flat because it's held over, but then the B natural comes in, which moves that to C, and we're just going to use another passing note like this, so just reusing the rhythm. and then just finishing it off there. Maybe setting the fourth. <clears throat> okay, so I think that should work okay. Let's have a listen. Great. So let's listen to it now with the um, with the violin added in unison. And just change the end slightly. Okay. Brilliant. So I just thought I'd add that. Um, you probably wouldn't repeat this, um, although you could argue that you'd want to. 
um, this four bar phrase that you've added um, because it's only used once. But if you think of it in context of the material that's just gone before, um, we've, we've sort of kind of worked through this eight bar phrase and repeated it and changed it slightly, and then we've presented this four bar rhythmic um, idea with very little harmony apart from the cadence. Um, and you know we really want to move on to the modulation and, and the second subject now. So I think I think the case would be that you would just have this um, repeated once. So let's have a listen to it. Uh, so the piano and the violin in unison. Great. I think it sounds really good. Um, that those two instruments playing in unison. It's an interesting effect. So I hope you've liked this video, so please do like it and subscribe and um, any comments, please add some comments and um, hope to answer your questions. Okay, thank you.